Hello world, welcome to edupediaworld.com. In our this video, we will have a look on the topic called internet, like what is an internet, its definition, history, scope, services. So now let's have a look at it. First of all, the definition or let's see what is an internet. The internet is a global network connecting millions of computers, more than 190 countries are linked into exchange of data, news and opinions. It is a network of networks that consists of millions of private, public, academic, business as well as government networks that is we can say it is a collection of interconnected networks or simply we can say that internet is a common form of a collection of local area networks connected by a wide area network where the local area networks are privately owned networks within a single building or campus of up to a few kilometers in size whereas the wide area network spans a large geographical area often a country or a continent so this is made possible by connection using standardized network devices and communication protocols are used to establish a connection between both these networks. An internet is formed when distinct networks are interconnected. So we can say that it is decentralized where each computer on the internet is independent. So system would still operate even if parts of it were destroyed. Internet sometimes simply called the net is a worldwide system of computer networks that is a network of networks in which users at any one computer can get the shared information from any other computer and sometimes talk directly to users at other computers. Now about the owner of the internet. In fact, no one actually owns the internet and no single organization or person controls the internet in its entirety. Though governing bodies or the telecommunication companies do own and operate the links that carry all the information being exchanged between the computers. According to Internet Life Stats, number of internet users represents more than 40% of the world's population. The largest number of internet users by country is China followed by the United States and India. And this number is increasing day by day. Now let's have a look at the history of internet like from where do we get it. Now about the inventor of this internet or inventor of this wonder world. Like unlike technologies such as the light bulb or the telephone, the internet has no single inventor. Instead, it has evolved over time. For years, scientists and researchers used it to communicate and share data with one another. Today, we use internet for almost everything. And for many people, it would be impossible to imagine life without it. The internet got its start in the United States more than 50 years ago as a government weapon in the Cold War between Russia and America during the 1960s. 
concerned about the survivability of its communications in the event of a nuclear strike, the United States Air Force needed to ensure that it could still communicate with its forces. As just one missile they feared could destroy the whole network of lines and wires that made efficient long distance communication possible. So this fear led to the development of first network to use internet protocol called ARPANET. Simply stands for Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. It developed a way of sending information from one computer to another that he called packet switching as it break down the data into blocks or packets before sending it to its destination. So in that way each packet can take its own route from place to place. Such a network would enable government leaders to communicate even if their telephone system is destroyed. So throughout the 1980s, researchers and scientists used this packet switching to send files and data from one computer to another. However, in 1991, the internet changed again. When a computer programmer in Switzerland named Tim Berners-Lee introduced the World Wide Web, it is an internet that was not simply a way to send files from one place to another but was itself a web of information that anyone on the internet could retrieve. So it is the internet that we know today. So now let's have a look at the services of the internet. Electronic mail or email is a method of exchanging information or digital methods from an author to one or more recipients. Email servers accept, forward, deliver and store messages. Neither the users nor the computers are required to be online simultaneously. Then comes the World Wide Web. It is the most important service provided by internet or it is an internet based hypermedia initiative for global information sharing. Then comes file transfer protocol. It is a standard network protocol used to transfer files on the internet. It is built on a client server architecture and uses separate control and data connections between the client and the server. Chat rooms are normally included on a browser freely downloaded from the web. Some are text only, others support voice and video as well and are highly popular among the users of the internet. Then comes mailing list service. It is a service that when a message is sent to it, everyone on the list receives the message. So it facilitates the users. Then comes instant messaging, which notifies you when one or more people are online, allows exchange of messages as well as files. Then comes news group. It is an online area in which users conduct written discussion about a particular subject, posts, blogs, articles, etc. All are part of this service. Okay, then comes some of the terminologies which also play a vital role in the world of internet. Host. It is a computer that is connected to a network which we call internet. So each host on such a network has a unique IP address for its identification and for the communication to carry on. 
then comes intranet it is a local or restricted communication network especially a private network created using world wide web software then comes extranet it is an intranet that can be partially accessed by authorized outside users so enabling businesses to exchange information over the internet in a very secure way thank you for watching our video on edupedia world.com